What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're looking at the TBS Tracer, Apex Frame, putting the TBS Tracer on a Flysky FSI 6X, and putting the Eshin X220S internals into the actual Apex Frame. So firstly, let's look at the TBS Tracer. So, let's open her. Here is the actual module. As you can see, TBS Tracer in all its glory. Well, this is just I'm gonna screw on to that. And you've got USB-C input over there. That's basically the module. So as I said, the module will be going on this fly sky, and I've already start modi started modifying it a small bit. So all I have to do is solder this little plugy I made. I'll actually show you lads a diagram of the plug I made. So that's basically the little plug. So that basically fits in exactly like that. And it will be connected to the fly sky over here. I'll probably mount it something like this, I guess. But yeah, let's quickly solder this in and I'll show you the mods I've done with the Flysky so far. So first thing you'd want to do is remove all the screws. This, just gently split it apart and it will split apart. So what I'd do here is just remove all the cables, the battery cable and the actual trainer port cable. So that's the fly sky. Um, so the mods I've done to this is I put on these connectors. I got these off Amazon, but I actually will resolder them and fix them. But they literally just plug, both of them plug into there. And, and then just a normal Wi-Fi antenna would screw on either one. And then this is going to be powering my tracer module. I'm going to be connecting that up using this little switch I found. But firstly, I'm going to create a hole in the actual back in here. It's a grand little hole, you can drill it, you can do whatever. So then, I'm actually just going to feed my wires through here. So firstly, I'm going to get my hot soldering iron, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to get that on. So let's quickly get that, let's clean this up a bit, and I'll be back in a sec. First one, that one, is PPM in. Second one, from the bottom, is PPM out. Uh, yeah, there, as you can see there, that is PPM out. That is PPM. So you want to solder that to that little PPM pin over there. So that's PPM. PPM is sorted. Now I have to wire up the batteries. So second, it's the power wire. So I'm just gonna quickly solder this on there. There we go. That's not too bad now. So then, positive. That's the one there. So positive would be the black, like I said. That would be third pin down from the top. That would be soldered on right there. Okay, so we got that on. So we can just quickly, let me bump up my heat a small bit. So here I'm just connecting the negative side of the tracer to the negative side on the battery. That's beautiful. And when 
We switch that off. That's on. And that's off. So now, next thing, is I'm gonna be making a couple of holes for the actual battery. Power, the power clip battery thingy. And then a little hole for the switch. So here you can see I made a little hole for the switch right above the trainer part on the left and on the right is the actual cable that plugs into the battery for the tracer. That is the Flysky controller. Hey, it still works. Fair. Okay, so there we've got the 7.2 volt battery connected up to the wire in there. I run through the switch coming out there obviously through that little hole I made with the little connector. Let's see if it works. Oh, would you look at that, boys? Would you look at that? That's fairly nice now. Yeah. So basically, that's the Flysky mod then. Still works, everything's perfect. Now let's move on to the Apex frame. Okay, so lads, from what I've gathered, is you take these little lock thingy screws, you take the arm and you put it in there, but the teeth has has to show to the carbon actually. So the carbon actually bites, well the lock now basically bites into the um, carbon. So here the bottom part of the frame is assembled and I've got all the standoffs. Um, I'll link a video in the description to a video I followed, it's going to make it way easier. And the next part will be putting in the internals and getting everything to fit finally. So here we can see the actual frame with all the internals, but at the back of the quad uh, you can see my VTX is kind of on an angle there because it couldn't actually fit on top of the um, flight controller and my camera is double sided tape in basically because the camera is too wide and yeah so that's something I'd, ha I'd have to replace. I think the VTX would be alright but I still have to test that um, but just the camera that needs replacing and that's all so far. At least the motors are in and we're making good progress. So here you can see me soldering in the TBS Tracer Nano RX and here's a little diagram to actually show you the wiring. So lads, I just want to quickly run you down on how to quickly set up your um, receiver on your quad. So you'd plug it into your computer, you'd open up Betaflight, click connect, and as you can see mine's connected and it's displaying all the right um, things. So firstly you go into ports, make sure your serial RX is enabled on the right UART port, then configuration tab. Then you'd go into here and you'd click Serial Based Receiver and CRSF. That will enable you to basically use your receiver. Um, so next you'd go into the receiver, you would like put on your controller and everything, your transmitter, and you would just make sure it's correctly displaying all the actions you're doing on your transmitter. So as you can see, mine is. It's working perfectly. I don't know, sometimes beta flight is pretty slow with the yaws in this preview for some reason. I don't know, but if you go into pitch tuning, you can see all the actual movements. Yeah, so basically lads, uh, that's it. Let me quickly show you the quad. So next thing you'd want to do is bind your tracer um, transmitter 
and your tracer receiver. So this is basically my whole drone at the moment. I finished up, cleaned up some wiring, there's the camera, well, both of them cameras. Um, FPV EU, go check them out, link in the description if you're in the UK, well, in the EU basically. Um, yeah, so got the props on and everything there, and it's actually looking fairly decent. Um, yeah, so let me quickly take you through the binding process. So firstly, you would want to turn your module on. If I can find my switch. So my module is on. So to bind it, you press it once, and it will start flashing green. Yeah, you just click the button on the receiver. I'll quickly do that. It instantly, almost instantly connects once you click the receiver. You can see it's green. It's a solid green. If I arm this, so that is that. And it arms. Yeah, so that's, that is basically it for the Apex build with uh, Eshin internals and the Flysky um, TBS Tracer mod um, and putting the Nano RX in. But that's basically it for today, lads. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.